This video shows how to locally install this UI Gen T27 billion model to generate UI interfaces like these as you can see on your screen. I am Fahad Mirza and I welcome you to the channel. We have been covering these UI Gen model for quite some time and they have released this T27 billion second generation model and that is what we are going to test out in this video. So if your use case is to very quickly prototype or turn your ideas into working UI components with built-in design reasoning, you can take advantage of this model. UI Gen T2 is a UI code generation model fine-tuned from Quen 2.5 coder 7 billion instruct base that utilizes parameter efficient fine-tuning with LoRa at rank 128. This has been trained on 50,000 diverse samples. It generates semantic, functional HTML and tailwind CSS or cascading style sheet for rapid prototyping, UI components and front-end code scaffolding. The model stands out due to its improved chat interaction flow and by embedding reasoning traces from a specialized teacher model that helps guide outputs on a layout, usability and aesthetics. So let's try to get it installed and we will see how it works. I also want to thank Mast Compute for sponsoring the VM and GPU for this video. If you are looking to rent a GPU on very affordable prices, you can find the link to their website in video's description. Plus, I am also going to give you a discount coupon code of 50% for a range of GPUs. I have started by creating a virtual environment with Conda. And now let's install all the prerequisites which include torch and transformer while that happens let me also introduce you to the sponsors of the video who are camel ai camel and or agent bot lets you effortlessly deploy a personalized knowledge bot across platforms like discord slack and others it is ideal for open source tech communities and startups that provide user support and i will drop the link to their website in video's description now while it installs the stuff let's go back to the model card and let's look at these images which have been generated by just text prompt with the help of this model so the way it works is quite interesting this model enables you to not simply convert prompt to code but to factor in broad design principles and heuristics Architecturally, this uses a transformer-based model with enhancements using LoRa or low rank adaptation that enables efficient fine-tuning focused on UI code generation task. The model operates best on systems with a minimum of 16 GB of VRAM to support its 7 billion parameter and we will also check out it in the real time. Okay, let's go back and see what is happening. Almost there. And now let me launch my Jupyter Notebook. And now let's load our model. And as I mentioned earlier, it is based on Coin 2.5 Coder. So we also need to download that model. And the model is getting downloaded. And the model is downloaded. Okay, so now let's do the inference with the model. So if you look, the prompt is very, very simple. All we are doing here, we are asking this model to generate reasoning and tailwind CSS HTML code for a simple card component that prints the model's response. And primarily, we are just passing it as an input to the tokenizer model is generating the output and make sure that these parameters are set like this and then from there we are printing out the response and the model has given me this response where it has wrapped this very simple tailwind css within this html um, card and it has created this sort of um, I would say card as I mentioned in my text prompt so I have just paste, uh, pasted this in my VS code here the whole thing saved it in test.html file and as I open this file this is what it looks like pretty good I would say of course we can change it we can specify some images and stuff but already looks quite good 
and now in the next example i'm asking you to make me an animated nav bar and i'm not giving it anything else just let's use this simple prompt to see what it generates and look at the code which it has generated looks really good to me but we will just copy paste it in our vs code and then i'm going to uh, use it so i'll just copy it and then let me go to vs code and then paste it here and i'll go back to my directory and run this test dot html wow there you go so we have our navigation bar and it is animated because as i hover over these links it highlights changes the color good stuff and the model looks pretty good to me as you just saw that it, it was able to create um, a full-blown code with all the cascading style sheet and all the ui components and another thing which i wanted to mention is that the publication of low rank adaptation checkpoints at each training stage supports transparency and further fine tuning um, can be done if you are interested for your own typical use case and it works um, mainly with html and tailwind css but there is no other support for any broader framework now if i have to be fair i would say that this new model is not much different than the previous iteration which we covered around two months ago so i'm not sure what exactly they have uh, done in terms of model improvement because it is as good as a previous version so i think that for the next version they should take their sweet time and maybe increase the framework support and maybe add more dynamic con content i'm not saying that the model is bad model is quite good but i think that it should be different uh, from the previous version plus you know um for me i think the best use case for this model is that for instance, if you have your production website or your QA website or whatever, and you want to have another environment like dev or UAT or something like that, you can use this model uh, maybe with your rag pipeline to give it a context of your own uh, website and then create a clone of your own website so that you would not have to write it again. So that I believe could be a good use case or if you just want to do a a rapid prototyping i think that might also be a good use case but anyway uh, a different model really like the way they are progressing what i think they would do well in order to get it working on broader use cases that's it let me know what you think about this model if you like the content please consider subscribing to the channel if you're already subscribed please share it among your network as it helps a lot thank you for watching